Welcome to the all new Kit Plus. We have a new look, a new feel, and a new regular show for you, so stay tuned. So here we are in our nice new studio. Uh, this is Kit Plus. We are going to be coming to you more regularly with uh, all sorts of guests talking about lots of different kit. Funnily enough though, today we're going to talk about one particular new item and I've got Chris here from New Tech. Hi Chris. Hi, nice to meet you. And you. Now, uh, we are going to be talking about a whole new TriCaster mm -hmm. we've got here, uh, but for those who don't know, first of all, tell us a little bit about the TriCaster range and NewTek and what it is you guys are up to. Sure, definitely. So, uh, so NewTek is a company that builds uh, lots of different video production systems. Yep. Uh, one of them is a TriCaster, and we have a, a range of different uh, models, uh, primarily geared towards professional video content, and you know. Uh, professionals that want to create some great-looking content, create you know broadcast-quality television, yep. uh, and all that kind of fun stuff. They may want to stream video. They may yep. want to push content out to social media. And so we've been doing this for a long, long time. And uh, and so you know, Tricast is synonymous within the industry for you know creating very high-quality TV. Yep. And uh, today, uh, or should I say, you know, recently we've launched a, a new Tricaster product, which is called right. uh, the Tricaster Mini, which is indeed which the product we have here today. We, have here. we do indeed. So now I <coughs> excuse me. I know TriCasters as the functionality of a TriCaster is huge. Mm -hmm. It can do an awful lot in one box yeah. um, and produce incredible results. Mm -hmm. This is, looks like a lot smaller than what I've seen before. Yeah. Whereabouts is this aimed in the marketplace for this sort of unit? So. As I said, you know, we've built products primarily for professionals, yeah. um, but we also find that a lot of our a lot of non-professionals are uh, utilizing Tricaster track track yeah. systems and Tricaster products, and so they want to be able to create great-looking content, yeah. and they want to be able to create really good messaging. Ultimately, they, these people are communicators. They work yeah. for education, they work for houses of worship, they work for government, yeah. whatever the different industry uh, sectors may be, and you know, a lot of time when people are creating content and they want to communicate, they'll use you know keynotes and powerpoints yeah. and all that kind of fun stuff, but they really want to create something that's got a little more, little more polish. Yep. They want to be able to con create content that's more engaging, that holds the viewer's attention more. Um, and ultimately, they want to create content that looks a bit like, net well, looks like network television. Yep. And to do that traditionally can be um, a challenge. You know, yes. there's lots of equipment, it can yep. be incredibly expensive. Um, you know, you can might have to have lots and lots of different people, yep. so a big team of people have to come in and kind of set up a lot of equipment. And um, it can be a challenge. It's yeah. not impossible, but it can be a challenge, especially if you're not from a video background. Yeah. So what we've done is we've taken all of our knowledge, all of our experience within the industry, and we've built a TriCaster, which is designed for um, you know novices, people yeah. that are communicators that don't necessarily understand video production, but they want to create content that looks like network television. Because yeah. everyone nowadays is a TV expert, really. I mean, you're an expert, mm -hmm. I'm an expert. And what I mean by that is you know, people nowadays, they're watching they watch TV, you know, I won't say constantly, but people are watching TV all the time. Yeah. You know, whether it's on your TV screen, whether it's on your mobile, yeah. uh, iPad, you know, your tablet, your phone, your computer, whatever it may be. And so, and you know whether something looks good or something looks bad. You might not necessarily know why, but you know whether something doesn't look quite right yeah. or something looks yeah. really, really good. And so we've built a, a system, the TriCaster Mini, which is really designed to allow anyone to create some fabulous looking content yep. that looks great, that, that engages and holds the viewer's attention uh, and you know, just create some great looking content. And that's really what the Mini is designed to do. Now, I'm looking at an interface here. Now, obviously, we've got this linked up so people can see. We have Most indeed, people, yep. when they see, for example, they would see a, a television studio gallery or something mm -hmm. like that, they're seeing lots of screens all over the place, they're seeing a massive, great, big switching unit with knobs on and things yep. like that. Now, you've basically compacted a whole television studio into one layout that we're looking here, yep. um, allowing basically access to all the features of a TV studio on, on one screen. Pretty much, to be honest with you, yeah. I mean, I, I can certainly, ta I'll take you through the yeah. system, and um, first of all, probably best to start with the hardware itself. Yeah. So, you know, we have the unit here on the desk, yep. as you can see, very, very small, very, very compact, yeah. uh, very small unit indeed. Um, 
And you know, again, when you, you know when you go into a professional environment, you're going to have lots of connectors that are mm. quite alien to yeah. um, you know video novices. So what we've done is we've actually using um, HDMI inputs and HDMI outputs. Right. So the great thing about something like HDMI is you find that on practically any video camera. Yeah. Um, you know, you'll find it on some professional cameras, but you're going to find it on consumer grade yeah. cameras. You're going to find almost any video device now has yeah. has a HDMI connector. So we have HDMI on the input, and we also have HDMI on the output as well. So if I just turn that. You can yep. probably see a little bit better for you. So we've got HDMI in, we've got HDMI yep. out. Um, so the great thing is you can just take, like I said, you know, we've got a couple of different cameras plugged into the mm -hmm. system here. We've got a couple of these little JVC, D, um, JVC Addixion cameras. Yep. Um, you know, really small, really compact. Again, just run a couple of HDMI cables straight into the unit and away you go. So it's really easy to get all of your uh, different equipment connected up to the unit. And those HDMI inputs are not restricted to cameras, so basically it's if, you, if you've got something that like output HDMI, yep. so it could be your laptop, for example. It could be a laptop indeed, exactly. Yeah. You know, um, DVD player or something like that. Exactly. You know, there's lots of different devices yeah. now that obviously have HDMI connections. Yet yeah, we're not necessarily limited to just using yep. video cameras. We can plug in computers into the system as well. Some uh, mobile devices, some yep. you know, stills cameras have yep. HDMI. So we can plug all of uh, you know, those devices into the unit. And again, we also have HDMI out. So again, when you want to take the signal out, you can plug it into big screens, projections. You know, again, pretty much everything nowadays has a HDMI. Yep. So you're not having to go and find a converter. You know, it's just it's really, really simple, really, really easy to do. And again, for non-video professionals, it's it's just, you know, you can go into your local electronics store, buy a HDMI cable, plug it yep. in, you're pretty much good to go, to be honest with you. And the same with the audio, you know, we also have some audio connections down at the bottom. Yep. So again, we've made it super, super simple. We've got um, a, a microphone input, yep. we've got an audio input, and then we've got an audio output and a, a headphone output. So again, you can you know, the system, the TriCaster Mini has got full audio mixing and full right. monitoring capabilities. So again, you're not having to necessarily use an outboard mixer, having to go out and buy another piece of equipment, yep. try and interface it together. All of that capability is built into the unit. And then you can see on this particular unit, we actually also have a video screen on the side as well. So you can actually see here, we've got a, a little video screen. It's yep. a LCD panel. And again, on that, we can use that as an output if we wanted to do. So we could, you know, we could feed that back to maybe the talent, the person that's, that's okay. doing the presentation. Yep. You might just want to monitor what your live web stream is going to look like. Yep. You can send different things to this screen right. as well. So, you know, again, very, very flexible. If I want to send a, a, a new tech logo, I can send a new tech logo. So, you know, it's, it's, it's super, super easy to use, really, really simple and very, very flexible indeed. So, and it's all in a very compact form factor. I mean, we haven't really built a TriCaster like this before. Mm. This is this is absolutely stunning, purely from a piece of engineering standpoint. You know, it's it's a full blown TV, yep. almost like having a TV studio, in something that is so small and so compact. And again, also very very quiet as well. Yeah, I was going to say one thing I had noticed. Obviously, we're sitting, you know, it's on the desk away from exactly, it, and exactly. it's not making the noise that it's not other units that I know. Mm can make, or yep. a standard switcher these days has fans in it, and you, they're fine if you're going to have them in another room, but exactly. in a small environment like this, you can't have them in there. Exactly, yeah. You know, this is designed that you know you can go into an office, you can yeah. go into a boardroom, you can go practically anywhere. You can drop this, or should I say place this on the <laughs> desk, <laughs> yeah. uh, plug in your equipment, and yeah. you can be sat there, and within a couple of feet away, you can have your cameras and, and the person doing the presentation. Yeah, you're right. You don't have to have this locked away in a cupboard. Yeah. You don't have to have it in a separate room. It doesn't take its own generator. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. it's really, really compact and really, really uh, easy to set up. Brilliant. And um, so talking on the HDMI input side, you've got four inputs on this? We have four video inputs, correct? Yep. Yeah. So we can have four different devices coming into the system uh, that, that 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 connect over HDMI. Yeah. Yep. And then we have uh, two HDMI outputs. Right. Uh, and again, you, they are totally independent. Gotcha. So the great thing about this is, I mean, you know, as we are here, for example, in the studio, yeah. you know, we have obviously, you know, what the viewer is going to be seeing is going to be um, like a live web stream, yep. or uh, um, but you know, behind us we have a screen and a monitor and that has a logo on there. Yes. And we have that same capability inside of the mini. So if you're doing a presentation, you can have something separate on a screen and you can have something separate going out to the audience. Yep. And that, again, can all be driven from the one box. You don't have to have separate devices to be able to do that. So I, well, I do a lot of live situations. And four cameras is, is perfect for your sort of standard event live yeah. situation. You, you don't need any more than that. No. Um, and so on this, what we could do, we could be live streaming out, for example, or recording a switched output. Mm -hmm. And then they might have a screen well, projector up for the yep. for the talent for yep. the, and for, sorry for the uh, the public there watching that's got the presenter on and mm -hmm. you could just have you could have a camera and a, 
and a separate thing going it, to that was completely mixed. Separately. Exactly, exactly. Or, for example, if you're doing like a presentation or like a keynote when you're on yeah. stage, you know, you're going to be cutting between the different camera feeds coming yeah. in. But then, you know, you might want to actually put, you know, you, someone's got to put the, the presentation on the, the you know, the projection yeah. behind the person. Yeah. And again, that can all be coming from the one box. You're not having to have multiple pieces of equipment. Yeah. And it's not just equipment, it's people as well. You yeah. know, people's time is precious. Yeah. And, and when you, you know, when you're in, you know, government and health and, you know, houses of worship and stuff, there isn't necessarily a lot of different people no. that can all come together for, yeah. for you know, to produce TV quality style yeah. productions. So having the abilities for one operator to do all of these different yeah. things and to do it simply and easily, that's really kind of, you know, one of the key points with the actual TriCaster itself. So uh, especially with the Mini, it does make it very, very simple to use. Yeah. So let's go on to uh, the operation of it. Um, yeah. So um, here. yeah, if we can switch over to the uh, the main interface. So this is this is kind of what the uh, what the uh, the operator would see. Uh, yeah. It's a very very simple system, and I, yeah. I will take you through how we have this set up here. So up at the top, we have all of our monitors. So this is where we can monitor all of our different camera feeds coming into the system. So you can see we've actually got three cameras uh, connected up here, and again they're just coming in on the. Uh, on the HDMI, we actually yeah. can actually take up to four, but we don't have a, a fourth one plugged sure. in. Um, and then we also, uh, we actually have some pre-recorded video content, so we can roll pre-recorded video content into our production, and we have some capabilities there. Um, but these are all the monitors, so this allows yeah. us to monitor everything coming in and out of the system. Then just in the middle, this is what we call the, uh, the mixer. So this allows us, to, for example, to go from camera one, go to camera two, and then yep. we may want to go back to camera three, and then go back to one, or we may just want to go back to a logo. And it's just simply a case of clicking on you know, the input that you want, yep. and instantly you're going to send that out to your audience. So it's a very, very simple system to set up. You know, it really has no, you know, it's not really that complicated yep. to use at all. In fact, if I want to go over to another camera, I can simply pick a transition effect as well, and this is one of the great things, is we can make those presentations look very slick, yeah, very absolutely. polished, by having these types of graphics that, that we can roll in. Yeah. And all of this type of stuff, you know, the user can customize, they can build their own effects yeah. if they wanted to do. So, you know, again, there's a bunch of different uh, effects that I've got in here. Again, I can just click on one, and I can have video flying in. I can have another transitional effect if I want to do, and I can play that, and I'm going to see those effects all happen in real time. And again, you can see we're actually sending this to the output of the uh, of the TriCaster Mini itself, so when we hit that button, all of yep. those effects are playing on the screen as well. And then just down at the bottom, we have uh, access to our tabbed interface. So yep. here, for example, you can see we have some captions, we have some graphics. So I, for example, I can select a graphic, and I can just bring it down, and I can put it on the screen, and we're going to bring one of these up a little bit later on. And so we can have a name coming yep. up. Again, we can bring these on, we can bring these off. And then, so it's really, really powerful and flexible. You know, all of the capabilities, the ability to build graphics. And again, we can just cycle through some of these so you can see some of the different yeah. styles and designs that we have. And this is what's really powerful about the TriCaster Mini is that you don't have to be a graphics professional no. or necessarily have the ability to go out and build all of these graphics because all of these types of graphics uh, are built directly into the system. So we right. give you a load of different templates. Yeah. Uh, so you can just simply pick the template that you want. You can come in here. You can actually change any of the captions, any of the things that you see on screen. Um, just simply go in. I can type away, put, change somebody's name, put what their title is going to be, and instantly I can just take that out to the presentation. So that's really, really easy to do. Yeah. And then again, we can do the same with video content as well. So for example, you know, I may want to do a presentation where I want to talk about um, tablet, uh, tablet computers and obviously how they are being used yes. and adopted worldwide. Yeah. So I've got a piece of video here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that to my main output. So now I've got a piece of video rolling. Um, you know, it's no longer just a static presentation or a static uh, image. I've got some interactive video content. So yeah. I can play this back as many times as I want. Then I may want to talk about, for example, how the adoption rate of mobile devices has really taken off. And it really has, you know, across yeah. all the different market Absolutely. segments. Um, you know, different whether you're in healthcare or whatever it's going to be, you know, enterprise, education, you can talk about all of these, uh, you know, how the adoption rate is. And then you can talk about the global adoption yeah. and obviously how mobile communication and the internet and mobile devices really allows you to, you know, bring all of this content together. So, and then again, at any point, I can say, great, that presentation is done, and I can just go back to my main logo. I can go back to whatever presentation I want. So, it's really a case of taking all of those individual elements yep. and really making something, like I said, that looks like network quality television. Absolutely. You know, really changing it out as opposed to having just a, um, you know, a, a keynote presentation or PowerPoint. We've all sat through them. They're yep. not 
necessarily always the most engaging thing in the world, even though you want to create, you know, there's an important message yep. to get across. So that's really what the, uh, uh, the, the mini is all about. It's making great looking uh, quality content. That's brilliant. Now, obviously, you're showing some, um, some VTs playing out mm -hmm. here. The VTs are stored within the unit themselves? They are indeed, yes. So we have full internal storage. Yep. So you have the ability to load all of your content uh, directly onto the box. So if you want to access it from a, you know, an external drive or yep. uh, maybe even a network location, you have that capability as well. Yeah. yeah. And if we're, uh, for example, I've, it's worth pointing out while we're here that I've noticed that you've got two screens called Net 1 mm -hmm. and Net 2. Yes. And Net 1, I've noticed, seems to have the feed from your laptop. It does indeed. It um, does indeed. But your laptop isn't actually plugged into the TriCaster. No. So, so that's quite impressive. How are you doing that? So <laughs> it is. You see, the, the, the way that normally you would have to do this is you'd have a, a bunch of different boxes and converters. Yep. And again, it's a challenge. It's not impossible, but it's a challenge. Yep. Um, the way that we do this is we actually just make sure that the, uh, the laptop here is on the same network yep. as the Mini. Um, so this is simply just connected up with an Ethernet cable to the network, or it can work wirelessly. Yep. Uh, the Mini also has full networking capabilities. So as long as they're on the same network, then I could take whatever I see on my laptop and I could feed that directly into, uh, into my TriCaster right. Mini. So again, at any point, I can just come over here, I can simply select it, I can use one of our fantastic looking transitions, and I can then go over to my PowerPoint presentation or my keynote, which yep. as you can see is just running, and it's just running and running and running. So it makes it very flexible, it makes yep. it very easy, and again, we can then just go back to our logo, we may want to go back to one of our live camera feeds, and again, just pick the effect that you want, click a button, and run that effect. It really is that simple. And, and to get that feed in from the laptop, it's a small application you install on the laptop, uh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, no, then, you don't even have to install it, but there right. is there is a bit of software. Yeah. Uh, it comes with the uh, the TriCaster Mini, uh, and again, yeah, you just run that on the system. It yep. will work on Windows and it will work on Mac, but you don't have to install it. That's the great thing about it. Right. You can just run it, and basically, this will broadcast over the network and whatever TriCaster Mini you have selected. Just pick the device that you want to go to, and instantly you can switch. And you could have multiple different yep. uh, laptops connected, and you can bring that content in. Uh, it's we also actually support um, AirPlay in okay. the system as well. So again, if you have a, uh, an Apple device that supports AirPlay, yep. uh, you can wirelessly send audio and video content directly, again, into your presentation. So you don't have to go and find that dongle and find yep. that cable and then change your, you know, your, your video formats on your device. So long as it's on the same network, you can just wirelessly send that content straight and into the Mini. I have to say, from a person who goes out and does live events quite regularly, one of the banes of doing this is you turn up on site and you're doing the job for a client, mm -hmm and they're saying, we want our PowerPoint presentation switched. You go, yeah, that's fine. And then their laptop is 400 yards yep. away. Over there, it's their laptop. Yep. They've got the PowerPoint presentation. You're trying to think, how on earth am I going to get that into mm -hmm. the system? Yep. And you start, as you say, you're running cables. You think, OK, if I come HDMI out, I've got to split it, and then I've got to convert it to get the length I need. Here. It's a challenge. It's yeah. not impossible, yeah. no. you know. And again, you know, someone like yourself that knows how th yeah. how this works and what all the different connections are and how to interface them, yeah. and you might have to change the resolution or the refresh rate Absolutely. on the device. It can be done. It's not impossible. But here we can say USB stick. Just load this on. Boom. Yeah. Put exactly. it on the network. Exactly. And then they can carry on presenting as they wish. Yep. Not having to worry about whether they it's they don't have to worry about it all. They just run their presentation. Yeah. And again, because that again that is important, you yeah. know. You know, people, you know, like CEOs, CFOs, you yeah. know, they're, 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 what's important for them is getting the information out, getting that message out. Yeah. They don't want to be burdened, and they shouldn't be burdened no. by all the technicalities Absolutely. going on in the background. So if we can make that process as simple as yeah. possible, then we've really, you know, we've, we, we've, we've achieved that goal. Yeah. Um, and it really is, you know, same network, as so long as we're on the same network. Um, yeah. You can just start, you know, sending that content over to your system. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, we can. It doesn't have to be a PowerPoint or keynote. It could be a web page. Um, for example, you might want to bring a Skype feed in. Yes. You know, you can have people dialing in remotely. Yeah. You may want to bring a Skype feed in. So again, you can just load up Skype on the uh, on the device and then just bring that into your presentation as well. Does it carry audio as well? Uh, yes, it does. Yes. So the uh, the ability for us to bring audio and video over the network is is, is supported. Brilliant. It depends on the hardware com configuration sure, of the device. Yep. Um, you know, there are certain things beyond our control, but uh, generally, if your device supports it, then we can bring audio and video across. Brilliant. So, for example, in a Skype call, that's yeah. ideal. That's ideal. Exactly. Because the, the audio because and the video will be in sync. It's coming over the same method. Exactly. There it is, you cut to it. And exactly. You know, it just makes it super yep. simple. You just pick pick the device running the Skype call, and boom, your audio and 
your video is going to come across. Yep. And, and as I said, because we have uh, a full audio mixer inside of the uh, the TriCaster Mini as well, again, you don't need to worry about the audio coming yep. in. The audio is going to come in. You can adjust the levels if you want to fade someone down before they go live, and then bring them up. Yep. You have that capability as well. We'll move on to audio in a minute, but mm -hmm. what you, you did mention it's got AirPlay support, so that's instantly makes things like iPads such mm -hmm. like available on here as a feed as well. It does. So you can be talking about something with an iPad here and mm -hmm. whatever you're doing on the iPad wirelessly is... You have that sense. capability, yes, yep. yes. I mean, as long as you're running an, an AirPlay native application, sure. then yep. you have the ability yep. to, to send audio and to send video and yep. to send photos. So ex exactly, you could be given a presentation. I mean, I was... I use the example of uh, mobile device adoption within, yeah. you know, within yep. corporate and enterprise as an example, but it's true. You know, I mean, you go to any board meeting or any kind of any presentation, and pretty much everyone either gets out a computer or they get out yep. uh, a mobile device, you know, like, like an iPad. Yep. And so the ability then for the person giving the presentation, they could have it all on the iPad, they could be talking to camera, and they could be swiping through their presentation. And those slides are going to the mini, and that, of course, then going out to the audience. Can be switched out. And so the presenter yep. then has control of what they're sending yep. as well. And, and that's really important, not, not to distance yourself from the technology. Yep. But you've just got to make it easy, you know, accessible and easy to use. Brilliant. Now let's just go on to the audio side of things, because I found that quite interesting looking at this. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got some, obviously, the analog mic inputs at the front. Yep. <coughs> HDMI carries audio as well? It does indeed. We carry stereo audio on all, yep. all of the HDMI coming into the system, yeah. So you can effectively use your HDMI as a way of getting audio into the system by plugging your plugging mics into the cameras, and then mm -hmm. every single camera is effectively going to have a, an audio feed into the you system can that you can mix. Yeah, exactly. So you don't yeah. necessarily need a big mixer with all the feeds going into that separately into a mic input. You can just plug a few mics into your cameras, and they'll come in as separate feeds. They will come in as separate feeds, exactly. And yeah. you can mix it on here. Show us where you where Yeah, you mix so again, audio. if we can just switch over to the interface, then, uh, then you will see, there we go. So if we just come down to the audio mixer, uh, again, you know, f for anyone that's not a professional, I mean, this may look a little bit intimidating, but it's actually very, very simple. Mm. You know, we have, you can see here, we have our four audio inputs, uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. Um, and we have the ability to, again, adjust uh, what these inputs are going to bring in. So, for example, here, we actually have a great little feature uh, which is the ability to uh, what we call follow the video. Yep. So what this means is, you know, when we're on camera, our microphones will be live, they will be open, and obviously whatever we're saying yep. um, will come into the system and then goes out to the audience. Yep. Um, but then if we go to a piece of pre-recorded video, we could have the system automatically shut our microphones off. Right. So there isn't the, the opportunity, you know, the chance that we could possibly yep. interrupt something or we could talk over something when, when we're not supposed to be heard at all. And that looks like that's a per-channel option as well. It is indeed. So, so yeah, so you have the ability within the system to 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 turn this on and turn this off depending on which microphones you want to have that yep. um, have, have that um, uh, activated on yep. exactly yeah you know and it, it, it's again it's just all about keeping it simple you know the fact that we, do we want to bring audio in yep. uh, from a microphone do we want to bring it in from the camera yep. how do we want to bring that audio in yep. um, you know normally you have an audio mixing desk it's got a ton of dials a ton of buttons and again yep. you've got to be an audio expert to, to, to set it up and on on the TriCaster Mini you don't. But uh, what I have noticed on here, obviously, you, you've got a simple layout. It's easy to understand. Mm -hmm. But you do have some quite sophisticated features in here as well, because I'm noticing you've got audio delay on those inputs as we well. We do indeed. We do indeed, yeah. So, which, when you're working with audio and video and they're coming in separately and from different routes, mm -hmm can cause you all sorts of problems. Yeah, it can but do. But you can correct for that if you need to. We can correct here. that inside of the system. Yep. And again, it's it's all, you know, you'd normally have to go out, you'd have to buy yep. another device, another box. Yep. It's more money, it's more cabling, it's more things to set up. You don't need to worry about yep. it. It's 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 inside of the mini. So if your or if your if your video is coming in late for whatever reason, yep. then you can also delay the audio to compensate for that yep. to make sure that everything is a uh, is, uh, is completely in sync. And, and not only can we mix external audio, but we can mix the audio from any of the internal videos yes. as well. So if you've got video, you know, it, it happens all the time. You know, you're giving a presentation, somebody comes with a little memory stick, says, oh, I've got this video, I, I, wa I want to be able to play a few seconds off yep. it. So we have that capability. You know, if you bring an hour video clip, you just yep. want to play 10 seconds, we can just play that 10 seconds. So you can and if set you, an in and out point on there. Exactly. And, yeah. You know, you, you, you can queue it up. And if yep. you don't even want the audio, you can just shut the audio off and say, I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to hear the audio. Yep. And you can just shut all of that off. And again, you don't have to take it away, re-edit it, cut it down, you know, all of that fun stuff. You can just do that directly in the system as well. Brilliant. Um, 
I've noticed you've also got solo on here as well, which is a very handy little feature. Just mm. people who don't know, just let them know. Let well, know what so solo is. The, the way the way that we're using solo in this system is uh, you can actually you can actually monitor what that particular audio uh, sounds like coming into the system before yep. you take it live. So again, if, you know, if somebody comes into a meeting late and you want to just get the mic mic'd up, yep. you just put a microphone on them. You can plug their microphone in. You can then solo that audio, so you can hear what that audio is going to sound yep. like before you take it live. Yep. So again, you don't have to take it live. Then make adjustments. Again, for someone that isn't necessarily an audio expert, that is a very powerful feature. Yes, absolutely. It makes and, life and you can choose which channels you want to solo. So you could even yeah have you can have a, a feed of somebody coming in from a Skype on Net One and solo that. So all you do is you just you can hear them, but they they're not going out live exactly. at the point. So. Yeah. You know what's going on in the background. You've got that little feed, and you yep. go, right, okay, they're all set. Now we can say we're going to go over to exactly. Joe Vlogs on Skype. Exactly. Audio, you know, yeah. You go. It's just, yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like auditioning something. Yeah. You know, you, you can listen to what it sounds like, and then when you're ready, yep. just hit one button, and you can just take it live. So, um, yeah, you know, it's it's the audio capabilities in the system are, are, are actually very comprehensive. Yes. Um, but we've presented it in a way that makes it very accessible to people. Um, you know, or should I say, non non again, non video and indeed yep. non audio experts as well. Which has always been the sort of the TriCaster new tech mentality, isn't it? Is that mm. you have a massive amount of features and functionality, but you can now, it's, it's presented in a way that you don't necessarily have had 20 years in the broadcast industry to understand. You don't. It. You can walk in and go, oh, those buttons make that go live, that turns that volume up, and that plays a VT. Exactly, exactly. Um, I mean, and, and, and also, you don't even necessarily have to be able to do this manual as well. We have, yeah. um, we have uh, a great system uh, inside of the system, so, um, a great feature, should I say, inside yeah. of the system, which allows us to do um, some things um, automatically or automated. Um, so, for example, we have, uh, I've actually got a little uh, uh, demo set up here, which yep. is going to show a few of the different features that we have. So, you know, we have the ability to play back video content and put graphics sure. on the screen. Um, we also have the ability to, um, if I just bring up some stuff here. So, uh, let's get up here, set there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit literally one uh, shortcut on the system. Yep. And what that's going to do is it's going to run, run a series of um, uh, events. Okay. And it's going to roll some graphics, it's going to play some video, it's going to cut to a camera, it's yep. going to move the camera around. And all of this can be, can be pre-recorded or you can build this uh, beforehand as well. Yep. So I'm just going to run this. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to bring on uh, our little uh, image, say we're announcing yep. uh, the TriCaster Mini. It's then going to cut over to a, a, a video of Kiki who is currently in Paris, uh, yep. you can see there at the moment. Uh, it's going to bring on the graphic. And the great thing about this is Kiki actually obviously isn't in Paris. Sure. Um, we, this is using our virtual um, set technology, or what I would call a background replacement yep. technology. So what we can do here is we can take uh, any video uh, of, 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 of Kiki, or indeed anyone could be stood in front of a, a green background or yep. a blue background, and we can then put them into any environment that we want. And we have this capability inside of the system, and I can just show you some other examples yep. that we have here as well. So this is one example where we can we can take um, different elements. We've got a different camera feed here, and again, I can choose different elements, and I can, yep. you know, position these correctly, and, and and just have it much more appealing. Somebody talking about a presentation, but have the presentation uh, in the video window itself as well. And again, we have another one here where we actually have we've taken uh, Kiki, and again, she's stood in front of a, a green background, yep. and we can replace that background and then drop her into a completely different environment. So we saw before that she was in Paris, but we can now have her inside of uh, inside of a, inside of a TV studio. And if we want to do, we can even move this camera. Yep. So we have the ability to uh, move the virtual camera forward. So we can now we can zoom in on Kiki. She's talking about the presentation. And again, at any time, we can then just uh, switch, uh, move the camera around. And then if we want to do, we can even, again, back that camera out. So and we have this capability. And this is high-end production in Something like this is unbelievable. To do this normally, yeah. yeah to do this normally, you would require um, obviously one of our um, professional uh, 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 tricasters um, will do this, and obviously yep. the pro units will do so so much more. Sure. Um, but this is uh, this is a very high end feature. Yep. To do this normally requires very expensive equipment, yep. and again, we're providing that same capability. Um, uh, inside of the TriCaster Mini, and again, you know, we've got lots of different backgrounds. So again, we were talking about having uh, Kiki over here in uh, in Paris, and again, yeah. I can just run a, a couple of different. I can move the camera around. So if we want to have a look at the Eiffel Tower, we have that capability. And this, I mean, 
this is this is really powerful. You know, the ability to move the camera yeah. around, but not just that. The fact that we can put kick it into into like I said, almost any environment, and all we need to do is we need to just take a simple photo. This is what's really clever about the system. Is you don't have to go in and build your own um, TV studio, yep. TV studio in the real world. You know, you just need to have a piece of green background, uh, and we've got a, a, a an example set yep. up here, which we'll uh, which we can probably put on camera. Yep. And we have a green background. We have a couple of lights, a single camera. And then you could be absolutely, literally anywhere in the world or indeed in, in any environment whatsoever. Uh, and again, it just means you're not having to have that, that office background, you know, you can, you can take someone and put them, yep. you know, absolutely anywhere you like. And I mean, it's, it's very easy when you see it on television to take it for granted, this people moving around. But this is a serious system to be able to do this. Yeah. And to have something as small and compact with this facility is, is, yep. is stunning. Yeah. Um, we're coming to our end of our time here. Mm -hmm. um, this can do, I mean, we've glossed over what it can do really. I mean, you can really get in depth into how sophisticated this, this system is. Um, but the ease of use is the key thing on this. The ease it? of use is the key thing. It's putting, it's, 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 you know, ultimately we're putting a lot of power um, into the hands of, of people that, are, like I said, aren't yep. necessarily video professionals yep. and they don't necessarily understand video or, or want to understand video yep. production, they just want to create some really great looking content yep. and that's what it's all about. Yep. And it's all about making it accessible and, and also getting that message to a much broader audience. Yep. I mean, you know, obviously within the system we have the ability to record what we're doing, yep. uh, but we also have the ability to stream it live over the web. And again, that's all in the system. We have the ability to push content to social media platforms. Yep. So if you want to push content to Facebook or to YouTube or even to, even to Twitter, you want to tweet something, yep. um, you have that capability in the system, but it's about making it super simple to use, yep. accessible, taking all the complexity out and really just making it so easy to create some fantastic presentations that look like professional yep. video, you know, professional television video. It is, Chris, an absolutely stunning piece of kit, I have to say. Um, brand new? Brand new, yes. Yep. Um, where if people want to find out some more information about this, uh, want to get their hands on it, have a play. Yep, I mean, best thing to do uh, is to uh, go to our website, yep. which is www.newtech, which is N-E-W-T-E-K dot com. Yep. You can go to our website. Uh, you can uh, um, have a look at the Mini. Uh, it'll give you lots of information, a lot of specifications, a lot of detail about the yep. system. Uh, we even talk about how you would generally connect it out, you know, how you connect your cameras yep. and try and give a lot of people uh, a lot of information. And then if they want to know more, they can go to the website, they can find their new tech, uh, their local new tech reseller, um, yep. and then they can just phone them up. We can set, it, set them up with a demo, not a problem at all. Fantastic. Chris, thank you very much for bringing it in and sharing us. It is much appreciated. My pleasure. Um, Go and have a look. I mean, just sitting here uh, and having a, a little play with it, it is a stunning piece of kit and uh, definitely worth going and have a look at their website. Uh, there's also some information in, here we go, the new Kit Plus magazine. Um, you'll find information about uh, the new Mini in there as well. And we're going to be putting out some more regular shows for you as well. You'll be able to see those on our website. So make sure you go and have a look at kitplus.com. For now, though, that's it from here on this episode of Kit Plus. We'll see you next time.